Hello, hello, hola, hola. Bienvenidos. Welcome to Lima, Peru, and welcome to another cooking class here in my home in Lima City, capital of the gastronomy of South America and also home of these many different influences, this melting pot uh, that, well, has become the reason of the wonderful cuisine uh, we have. So, hello, Marilyn, thanks for joining. Thanks for being on time <laughs> oh, for the beginning of this event. Um, let me flip the camera just for a moment to say hi uh, to our friends joining. Hello, hello, my name is Vanessa. I am your Lima City tour guide. Uh, in this series, I talk about food and share famous Peruvian recipes. The idea of this uh, show is to show you how easy can be cooking Peruvian food. Uh, and of course, I, I do believe that uh, there is a chef in everyone. Really like, I don't think you need to be, you know, like uh, going to uh, the most incredible cooking uh, schools to develop uh, that uh, side uh, of you that is inclined to cooking. I am not an expert chef, but here in Peru, we have this passion for cooking that is put in our hearts since very, very young. Uh, because we see our abuelas cooking, our moms cooking, uh, so boys and girls, uh, we are also uh, spending most of the time in the kitchen. And I think we developed uh, that taste also for for food. Uh, hola amigos, hello, thanks for joining. Hola Marilu, hola Aaron, thanks for being here. Uh, we're going to be cooking today at dessert because today is Valentine's Day. It's February 14th, so happy Valentine's to you all. Uh, well, this is my way also to share a little bit of love with you all cooking at dessert. Um, this is a hot dessert, but also can be served cold if you leave it in the fridge uh, enough time uh, to, to cool down. Um, so it's a pudding. And uh, well, if you have the lack to find the ingredients where you live, which now with Amazon and the virtual deliveries, it usually is possible, uh, but it also depends on where you are. But if you can, please do this dessert. The name of this dessert is Masa Morra Morada in Spanish, or just simply pulpor corn pudding, okay? So well, amigos, happy Valentine's to you all. And well, let's begin with this cooking show. Uh, also, if you are new to my, uh, to my channel, let me know it, please. So first, we're going to begin putting, uh, let's say, water here to, to heat, and then I'm going to explain the ingredients. But this is the part that we need the most. Hola, hello, Caitlin, thanks for joining. Happy Valentine's, by the way. So we will need a pot, not so big, because I am not doing really a big quantity of pudding, and I will be putting this on uh, to heat. And we're going to be needing about, let's say, three cups of water okay so we're going to put this on uh, to, to cook just give me a second we're going to uh put this uh to to boil okay so this is the part that is going to take the longest let me also move the camera a little bit lower so you can see uh, my kitchen by the way hi cap hello thanks for joining this is my new home <laughs> I just moved um, less than a month ago uh, to here and I'm getting used to my new kitchen but it's a bit, it's, it's, I think bigger, it's a bit bigger than the other one. Uh, the distribution is different so <laughs> I hope you're able to see everything. Also let me know if the internet is good uh, and, and if you know like you are receiving well the images. So yes, new kitchen, Marilyn, new kitchen, new culinary adventures. So well, we are going to start heating this. And yes, very exciting. Now everything that is new is exciting. <laughs> so now we are going to 
the most important ingredient of today's cooking class. Mm? Yes, thanks, thanks. And you'll see the rest in a moment. <laughs> so this is, oh, good to know, Marilyn. Good to know that everything is clear. I think the internet router is closer also to the kitchen here, so it's going to be better. So, yes, I know, Marilyn, I love my other kitchen too. I decorated like every little bit of that, but I hope that I can also make this a very Peruvian corner of the house. <laughs> so here we have, look at this, the purple corn. Okay, so uh, Peruvian purple corn is used in the kitchen and also it is used in, in other ways. For example, uh, as a dye. Hmm? So in the Andes, you can use this as a dye. Uh, there are two very famous recipes that we do with this corn. Um, it is the uh, purple pudding, and also we have a refreshment named chicha morada. So this one here, this is the, the inside of the corn. How do you call this one here? Hmm? Um, I, I forgot about the name of this husk. No, um, no, husk is the external part. So this is the heart of the corn. And look how purple it is. So it's not dye, that's the way how it grows purple, right? And we have to, you know, like uh, take out all the kernels. So we're going to do this on uh, cup. Thank you, Kate. Cup, okay? So that's the cup, right? We are going to use it too, okay? So, but we are just like opening everything like a, you know, like a shelling, I think it's called, like taking out all the kernels. Uh, and how many of them we're going to use? Well, we're going to use two, uh, two corns, okay? Is the dye cor col uh, purple color? Yes, of course. Yes, yes. You're going to see in a moment how uh, the water is going to be, how much is going to be pigmented. Sorry that I'm so close to the camera. I'm going to move a little bit backwards. Um, so what I'm trying to do is showing you um, how I am taking so easily actually, it's very easy, all of the kernels from the corn. Okay, so it's a, it's a job that you can do, of course, you know, like a, in a couple of minutes. I wanted to do it with you just to show you how easy is to do this job okay and look my hand is already <laughs> dying <laughs> it's turning purple so in the andes women in the andes use this um as a dye they dye beautiful fabrics with this corn okay we have many species varieties of you know, products in the country. We have the Andes with the beautiful corns and the potatoes and the quinoas. We have the coast with the wonderful fruits, the cottons, right? So, and so on. The jungle also, the jungle is the pharmacy of the country. Okay, so now that's it. Look at that, the cup and then we have the kernels okay so all is going here to our pot there's one more thing also we need to add okay. we're going to put this on one side and now we have another important ingredient okay so we have the, uh, the skin of the pineapple Okay, so I have peeled a pineapple. It was a medium-sized pineapple, okay? And we don't waste anything. <laughs> so this part really is very beneficial. Most people throw it, but you can do refreshments with this, you know, natural refreshments, better than the ones in the in boxes that you buy in the super. Uh, it has also a lot of benefits for the body. It is uh, good for, uh, as a diuretic, 
Mm -hmm. So, if you can, you know, you have to make every once in a while a refreshment from pineapple, a great diuretic. Okay, so we're going now to mix. One of the things I took from my previous home, which were things really from my granny, were my very big <laughs> a spoons of wood, my wooden spoons, my wooden forks for cooking. Okay, well, so the fire is high. We're going to put it a little bit less high because we don't want it to be burned. So, and we're going to cover this, okay? Good. So, how is your day, amigos? How are you? How are you today? Everything good? <laughs> uh, how is the weather like where you live? I would like to know. We're going in a moment to also do another part of the recipe, which is, this is part of the pineapple. You know, it's, it's not really the half. It's, let's say, one quarter of the pineapple. Oh, gracias, okay. Oh, so, yes, my, my, big, my big spoon really like, I don't cook for so many people <laughs> like for using such big spoon, but I love it. Uh, and it reminds me of my granny so well. I have it here, but she used to cook for a lot of people always. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do something very interesting with this pineapple uh, because the rest of the pineapple, I chopped it. Well, really, my daughter helped me to chop it, my oldest one. So she's now helping me with the kitchen. And we have chopped the pineapple. Um, and we're going to add later the pineapple to our uh, mix. Okay? So what we're doing first is really sort of like dyeing that, that water and, and giving to that water the flavor of the purple corn, the flavor of the skin of the pineapple. Uh, and then later we're going to see what we will do with that part, okay? Um, so as I was saying, we have chopped pineapple, but we are going to blend this other part of the pineapple right now, okay? So I'm going to move the camera to the other side of the uh, kitchen. <laughs> so, oh, this is my kitchen, look at it. New kitchen, you know, not super big, but very very well distributed so we're going to put it i think somewhere here okay and i read you by the way i know that there have been some messages so whether it's a spring like today yeah i'm so happy that you're feeling a little bit warmer up north <laughs> see honestly here has been very hot uh, Mary Lou says that it's sunny but cold. Well, but I think sunny, a sunny weather, you know, like makes everyone happy. It makes me happy. Um, we don't see the sun that often here in Lima, you know. Like if you haven't been in my previous tours in Lima, uh, in, you know, like walking tours, walking virtual tours, probably you don't know this. Lima's sky is gray for approximately more or less half a year. It's very gray. Lima's sky is gray. Lima is very humid. So, well, we get used to that in Lima. Uh, it's the way it is. But when we see the sun, we are very happy. So, what I'm doing is cutting or taking out the heart of the pineapple, okay? So because that part is, you know, a little bit bitter, like not good for eating. So we're taking out the center, which is really like a circular part, as you can see. So we're taking it out. We will not use it. And we're going to blend the rest, okay? With a little bit of water only, okay? So by the way, were you able to try Peruvian food in your cities? Do you have Peruvian food restaurants? Huh? Let me know, comment it please. 
if you get to see this event recorded on YouTube, um, let me know uh, if you have any restaurants in your community that offer Peruvian food. So we're going just to add a little bit okay, of water. The water that you prefer, filter water, you no know, water from the tap, whatever you drink. Okay, so sorry if it's a little bit loud, but we're going to do the blending, okay? Okay, one, two, and three. to our conversation about Peruvian restaurants in your communities. Uh, let's see if there's any comment. Uh, oh, you have a Brazilian steakhouse. Oh, how lucky. How lucky you are, Marilyn. No Peruvian food yet in Texas? Well, maybe that will be my next business in the States. <laughs> I think it would be great to have a Peruvian restaurant in your community. So here we're going to use this juice, very thick, very thick juice of pineapple for later. We're going to leave this here, just cover, and I will clean this later. We don't need it anymore, okay? Um, so, we will also do something additionally, introducing you some of the ingredients additional ingredients we're going to be needing and for now also there's one more thing that i will be adding now uh, for let's say the last minutes of this boiling process is cloves and also cloves and cinnamon okay so we're going to add them here very good Continue with the boiling process. Okay, so we're going to leave this for, let's say, five more minutes. You always need a clock in your house necessary. So well, we're going to leave it for five more minutes there, more or less. So it's been fast, uh, this process. Now, we're going to clean the board and I will present you another important ingredient for our recipe of today. So do you know what is this? Who knows what is this fruit? Mm -hmm. In Spanish, we name it membrillo. Mm -hmm. Who knows what this fruit is? Let me also open it up you can see it maybe you haven't seen it before 
Anyone commenting? No? <laughs> uh, Mexican cuisine, yes, of course, Marilyn. Guava. Oh, interesting. That is named Guava. Mmm. Mmm. Caitlin. Oh, we name it Membrillo in Peru. It's a, and it's not a pear, eh? It's not an apple, it's not a pear. It's a, I think you call it Queens. Queens. Is that right? Let me know if you know this fruit. Membrillo or Queens. Okay? So, what we're going to do with this membrillo, uh, queens, yes, exactly, yes, yes, yes. So it's not, it's not like a, it's harder than a, an apple. Uh, we're going to chop it also. See, we're going to chop it in slices. See. Well, let me also move the camera down. Okay, we're taking out the seeds. Mmm, it's a smelling already. It is a smelling. Okay. So we're taking out this part here. And we will reserve our queens. I think I'm going to chop it a little bit smaller. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, the smell is fabulous. Good. Now I think it's Good size, okay? So what are your Latin American uh, favorite foods? I also would like to know which ones are your Latino favorite foods? Of course, many will say the Mexican, of course, Mexican is one of my favorite foods. If you say Peruvian, extra points for you. <laughs> okay. So also, we have, in the meantime, I would like to continue explaining some of these ingredients we have for today. We have um, these guindones, I think you call it too. Guindones in Spanish. Okay. So, the guindones, well, you can, if you wish, chop them or put them just the full size i like to chop them my girls probably will not be eating them also all in full maybe i'm going to leave a couple like just size they are you know because children are a little bit like picky with some things now in my time I love guindones. This one I'm going to leave that size. This one the same. Maybe this one. This one. Uh, I used to love them. Well, now things are a little bit different. Okay. But um, the idea is just to also add more flavor. So I'm going to leave this here. See, probably the part that they don't like is, is the, you know, the, the heart uh, of the guindons at the end no? when they bite it mm, it's a little bit hard there uh, but we my generation was used to this part so I'm taking this and removing this for them we'll continue. okay so now I think it's about time to see the product of our boiling okay let's see first of all if they need more if they this is not that okay so let's see maybe 
maybe five more minutes. Just five more minutes or even less. It needs to be a little bit more soft, all the, the corn. So that is a good indicator that it is ready. Um, so well, also another product we're going to be using is this maicena is corn flour okay maicena so maicena we use it a lot for example in desserts like this kind in soups uh, to make these caldos or broth a little bit thicker mm? so we're going to turn this into a pudding consistency with this uh, product okay um, so I think we will need just three spoons more or less of, of this product to uh, have it uh, the whole product, the whole preparation thick enough okay so let me open this actually a little bigger spoon this is, this is too small a normal normal spoon okay okay so now we go with this okay one Sorry, you're not seeing anything. Two, two, three. Okay, we're going to put the rest inside. And to dissolve it, you need hot water. Put this back here. And well, also, if you want to cook with me more Peruvian food in my YouTube channel now you're in my YouTube channel you're gonna find different recipes I've been cooking since 2021 uh, here on, on YouTube with my friends so uh, I'm sure you're going to have a great time scrolling seeing all of those videos mm -hmm. um, okay so let's see I think it's time already softer now okay so what we're going to do is I will put a little bit of this liquid just the liquid here because it's so hot so that's really what we need to dissolve the maicena and we call it maicena we name maicena this uh, product this flower and you can also dissolve, I hope you can see this better, maybe not, but if we move it here, maybe you'll see it. Oh yeah, you can start seeing how it is being dissolved. Huh? Can you see that? So we have to dissolve it very well. We will dissolve it, leave this here for a moment. And we're going to use a different pot now. Uh -huh. And we're going to remove all the you know ingredients that are in, in pieces. And we're going to just keep the liquid. It really smells wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, okay, we went all that liquid there. Yeah, so you can see here and also here the corn. Okay, so we're going to leave this here on one side. Woohoohoo! 
this is a new one i love it the color is beautiful <laughs> i bought it especially for this event so how you call this one here in english okay so i have to do this here usually use it in pastas right and look at this can you see the color of the water the color of the water is completely colander ah interesting in spanish we name it colador <laughs> so maybe you know, there i have uh, a, a way to remember the name <laughs> so here you have it strainer i think also you call it but maybe that's a different thing um so well this is the liquid we're going to put it back now here it has you know like no additional elements okay now we're going to put sugar oh we need sugar uh, more or less i would say um like half a cup half a cup of sugar okay half okay strainer too oh excellent yes i remember it was something like strainer Thank you, Marilyn. So we're going to be using now the sugar. Half a cup. Okay. Going to move a little bit. We're going to add pineapple. I think I have a lot of pineapple here, but you know when you buy one pineapple, you have to cut it all. So we'll be eating later pineapple, but I think we're going to be needing, you know, half of, of this pineapple. And I will save this later for because it's hot today. So maybe do more juice. Oh, so I think that we a quarter of a pineapple, of a regular pineapple will be good enough. Okay, so we're adding this here. Hmm? Gindones, gindones. Good. This here. Aha. Uh -huh. We have also. Oh, here. Mm hmm. Wings. There are different ways to prepare this dessert. Some people like it uh, with other fruits including figs for example so that's the beauty of the peruvian cuisine that you can really like make it uh, to your taste you know, and it still be traditional peruvian cuisine so we are going to leave this also for some few minutes mm -hmm. Remember that we are reserving this for later, okay? This is the pineapple. And now we're going to put our dissolved our dissolved um, mycin, okay? We're going to see if it needs a little bit more of mycena. We'll see it in a moment. We're going to leave it there. So, let me know if there's any comment, anything you would like to share also with the group. Uh, I'll also leave the camera a little bit. Uh, in the meantime, well, the, the reason also why I'm doing this um, a dish, this dessert, uh, guindon prune. Oh, thank you, uh, Maicena Coarse Touch. Thank you, thank you so much. You can also see uh, later. I'm going to be adding the uh, description and the measures and everything here in uh, our video when it goes to YouTube. And 
Thank you so much, uh, Caitlin, for giving me these corrections because in that way I can use the proper or the alternative names. Not everybody uses the same you know, words in English, no? So English as a Spanish varies according to geographic location. So I'm going to use that. Thank you so much, amigos. Thank you, thank you. It helps me also to, to make all uh, these events much better learning more from you um so <laughs> gracias yes thank you thank you so um i was saying that this event which we are still in process as you can see we're going to leave it for a little while we've been adding also three spoons of um cornstarch but we will need probably additionally a little bit more we'll see so I was saying that um, the reason why I chosen this recipe is because last week we talked about in my history event, I do historic events every once in a while, every two weeks more or less, uh, here in YouTube, we talk about the Moorish heritage in Peru. You know? And well, there were different uh, commentaries about the Moorish heritage uh, at the end of my event. Uh, some people say like, no, nah, it's not crazy. Like, how come is that possible? Yes, indeed. Like uh, Moorish heritage as well as the Jewish heritage in Peru came with the conquistadors. Uh, and that's undeniable. Like there's no way to say no to that because it's what it happened. And we have not just documents and, and history uh, that supports this, this idea our culture, our tradition, our architecture is also influenced. For example, in this case, about the Moorish um, influence, uh, the Moorish tradition, and there are dishes that also we know they might have some Moorish history. So this one here, for example, is referred usually as a Moorish dessert. Mm -hmm. um, well, mazamorra morada, purple corn uh, pudding, is a combination of Spain and Peru oh, because the purple corn is local but this technique of making puddings uh, so far I know it has influence as well from the Moorish tradition uh, so Mazamora well um, now we're going to see how this goes okay so we'll see I think we're going to need a little bit more of starch for making it more thicker, okay? So we're going to double that amount, okay? And I'll take you closer uh, to the uh, to the stove. To see. I went to my mom's house to ask her about this recipe. And she said, well, Granny used to do it this way, but you have to try the measures. So, well, this is what we're doing. Once again, we're going to put here liquid. And I'll tell you at the end how much I use, okay? So, for now, we have all these spoons. three spoons the were last time, right? Mm -hmm. This is quite thick. We have another three spoons here. Oh my God, this is very thick. And I think it's, work, it's going to work really good. So 
it's almost there. It's almost there. Almost there. I'm going to add a bit more to it. We ended up adding nine spoons of corn starch. And now we will add, let me also put the camera a little bit closer so you can see how everything is being cooked. I am using a tripod, so I hope that it works good for you this time. So if the camera has to be moving from one side to one side of the kitchen, but that's a good way to, to show you everything. So look, now with the boiling, it's going to get very thick. Um, so to add a little bit more of the flavor uh, of the pineapple, we will need this pineapple boiled. Uh -huh. Here. More or less half a cup of the pineapple boiled. And then we just let it there. And again. Okay, so what other recipes would you like me to cook for you? Um, if you want me to test something for you, like how to do it at home, uh, you can comment here in the chat or later when you see this video uploaded, you can let me know like what you would like to, um, to cook with me. Uh, Peruvian cuisine sometimes can be a little bit tricky, but I think uh, what happens is that uh, we need, first of all, certain ingredients that probably are so, so local, uh, that so endemic from this part of the world that it's very rare to find them outside. But we can always find replacements. We can find alternatives. Um, sometimes we have desserts like this one, that now you can see in supermarkets commercialized as powder. Oh, so it's a, a combination of you know this dehydrated corn, a flavor, a purple corn flavor with also the, the starch, cornstarch, uh, all the additives. And then, well, you have a something that resembles uh, the purple corn pudding. Um, but well, uh, if you are curious enough, probably you're going to find somewhere <laughs> where you can get these ingredients. Um, online now, you know, it's, it's possible. Um, also, I would like to show you something very, very nice from about my home and, and how the climate is these days. So just to cheer you up a little bit. So, well, this is my view from my kitchen. And you can see a little bit of the ocean, yay! Yeah, I feel like, you know, like a rich with that view of the ocean <laughs> uh, there in the distance. Uh, just to give you an idea how sunny, uh, how beautiful the sky looks today. 
uh, and well now we have uh, this this very nice climate here under the shade because if you were out there in the sun it would be hot very hot okay so now we're going to to the kitchen and I think okay so I hope it doesn't go backwards uh, I think we have it now ready okay very good very very good yes so now we're going closer to the kitchen This is a perfect uh, dessert for warm days. But remember that we can also put this in the fridge and it would be wonderful later uh, cold. And it's also going to get a more thick consistency, okay? So I'm going to uh, serve it. Uh, let's serve it. So how will I serve it? I love to see more desserts. Yay, excellent. Oh, I would love to cook more for you guys. Um, anything that you want. Also, it doesn't need to be like if you if you wish, you know, like the name of a product or I mean a, a Peruvian dish. But you can tell me, for example, like I want a dish with chicken or I want a dish with fish. Uh, so in that sense, well, I have a better idea of what can I serve you okay so look at this very pretty plate oh, this was a gift from a friend of ours my, my husband and I in Cusco and she lives in a community in the Andes and her community makes pottery okay so we're going to put a little bit of the fruit here. I'm going to put a pineapple. Uh -huh. And more of this. Ooh, it's hot. And then at the end, we're going to let it there also to dry a little bit. We're going to put some cinnamon. Okay, so this is how it looks like this dessert mm -hmm. yay and I will also I have chosen another nice pot for the presentation so I hope like the the tripod is working good <laughs> so far so good I seen also a commentary about that <laughs> oh that's great marilu yes of course more of those chicken recipes i'm just trying to okay i think this is good enough um so what we will be doing first is ooh, it's very hot it's very hot we're going to place everything nice for the for the last pictures of today oh, we are coming to the last part of our event but I want everything to look very nice and clean and perfect for you is it lunch time for you also my lunch is going to be very simple because I put so much effort in the dessert <laughs> that I hope that my girls will be happy with something simple today. Okay, so look at this very nice pot. Isn't it adorable? It's so pretty. It was a present from my mom. So I will put more, okay, more of this. I really like the lightning in this kitchen. Like at least in, in this side, I don't like it. it looks very very nice maybe it's because everything is white so well 
next time I think we can have something made of chicken uh, so we can maybe alternate like one time chicken or you know like a salty dish sorry and one time a dessert we're not in the season of soups yet but at some point we can also do some soups mm. yum, yum. this is a good season for salads look at that how pretty I'll move down the camera for a moment I am preparing everything to Whee! how pretty we are at the end of our event well now it looks like liquidy but when it gets a little bit colder it's going to get more thicker okay the consistency is going to be way more thick Okay, so we're going to also do the following. Now, let me move the camera. Sorry if I'm taking just some minutes to place everything. Okay, goody. Let's, let's move the camera to give you a very nice view of our desserts. And what we need now is a little bit of powder of cinnamon. Okay, look at that, gently, gentle, adding here as well to add a little bit of flavor. Dun, dun, dun. It's too gentle, <laughs> I need more. <laughs> Aha, excelente. This is much better. Okay, and a little bit more here. Excelente. Okay, amigos. So here we are. This is our purple corn pudding. And now what we are missing is trying it. So I hope you were able to uh, take your pictures. And now we're going to sample it, okay? going to cover this mm -hmm. and let's try it oh ho, 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 ho. and now I will flip the camera to me and sorry here aha so well let's try it mm, delicious Congratulations to me. <laughs> very nice, very tasty. Way better than the ones in the, you know, like little powder boxes. <laughs> so, well, um, purple corn also has a lot of benefits to your health. Uh, it has tannins, oh, like wine. So it has anti-age properties and it uh, will it benefits you also if you are having high blood pressure drinking a refreshment of purple corn helps you also to uh to let's say module to um to lower down your high blood pressure so well uh, this is the way how we do things no our uh, food is our medicine no? and and we believe in preventive medicine as well well Thank you so much for joining this event. I hope you enjoy it. Um, well, it's a new location. My kitchen uh, is, is new, as you know already from the beginning. Uh, just moved here, so I hope that you found uh, everything informative, that you enjoy it. If you like it, let me know it so I can do another show. I really do them on demand. If someone asks uh, like for, for these events, I ask, a couple of times more <laughs> and well uh, if everybody agrees I do them so uh, if you are in for another one well 
let me know in the comment section and we will see each other again very soon. Muchas gracias, Caitlin. Thank you, Marilyn. Muchas gracias, Marilu, dear. And well, if you wish to participate of these events or maybe even help me more, uh, Cap, thank you. Um, you can also become my Patreon. I am reactivating my Patreon support page um, with a very small membership, very, very little fee. You can become my supporter. Uh, you can help me to create more content, not just culinary uh, tours, as well history lectures. So please go to the link in the description of this video um, and well, let me know if you would like to become a supporter. If you have a question, I'm there, always here with you if you need any help. And also I have a PayPal uh, donation button, which is also below. Any donation is highly appreciated. Take care and see you soon. Best to you all. And well, see you next time. Bye-bye, amigos. Happy Valentine's to you all. Happy February 14th. Uh, take care. See you. Ciao.